All right, Metro Dread. Let's see it. You may want to lower the volume a little. It's a lot higher than... Well, set it to whatever you have your desktop audio volume level. I, I just did that. Okay, cool. Let's go. All right. Oh, you Let's... tested it out? Yeah. So I... you're going to want to delete that and... Yeah, we got to get the opening cutscene. I literally, like, started it, and then before the cutscene even got to it, I, I quit the game. <laughs> Here we go. I, I saw this, and then I, I quit. Okay. Metroid. A virulent floating organism that drain energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises. crises. And as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Or are they? <clears throat> the X-Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It can absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When affecting a living horse, host, it could even access the host's memories. X-Parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. Alright, showing events from... This is, um... Yeah. Or between sex. Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion, what's going on right now? So we don't actually see this. Right. In a game. So, remember when you saved the animals on on all of those games done sure quick do. streams? Yeah. You let the X parasites out, guys. Come on. How could Next, you? Well, you know. Um, it's, it's theory. Anyway, with no Metroid surviving in SR388, it became infested with the X. Horrifying parasites capable of in imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. So now we're into the events of Metroid Fusion. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space laboratory. When I went to a biological space laboratory's BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. Okay, for some reason that title of the company like yeah. you'd know, be confused as to why it's a plural. <laughs> so I had, I had to reread it. There, I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. It showed an X, alive, and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved, uh, thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven EMMI to investigate. An EMMI is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Don't know. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it is up to me to go there and find out.
Here oh, we go. Right. All right, so oh, I'll save that talk for after the cutscene. For after the cutscene, is there another beginning cutscene? Oh yeah, you're not done yet. Is this cutscene the game for now? Uh, until you have control, yeah. Okay. They they gotta they gotta they gotta start this game off good. Soon be entering CGR's atmosphere. The bounty for this mission does not seem appropriate. The risk clearly outweighs the reward. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is likely to be low. Remote communication remains useful. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, they can be in contact. Any objections, please. Interesting. And now okay. we're in. Yep. So this is your zone to fiddle with the controls and figure things out. Uh, so for the for for you know for the information for everyone watching, how many Metroid games have you played before? Currently, I have played zero. All so, right. So this is this is Thorne's first Metroid game. First Metroid game. I figured Metroid it was game. a good one. It was a good one, like a good starting point, just because it's the most modern, right? Yeah. yeah considering it literally just came out. Uh. And so, you know, it'll be, it'll be a good experience. Uh, we, we've been playing through a bunch of, if we're eventually going to get to all of the older Metroid games on the channel, and several of them already have complete playthroughs, oh. but, uh, yeah. Come on. There we go. but, uh, 
figured the newest one can, can go to someone who hasn't played a Metroid game before. Yep. Why I'm not? Collecting. Stop that. But yeah, sure. <laughs> oh. Oh. I like the Yep. Alternatively, alternatively, let me just let me just tell you, shoot the white thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is you, it can, you, can, you can you can grab those, yeah. But nice nice work on immediately going into the wall jumps, that's what I did. <laughs> I mean yeah, it's it's wall jumps. It's been a bit since I played a platformer. I think the last like real platformer I played was Bloodstained: Ritual of the Night. So. Uh huh. Yeah. It's Which been a bit. I don't even think that one had wall jumps. Refills ammo, or is this just this one yeah. thing? Yeah. No, that it refills ammo. Okay. Hold R to ready missiles. Press Y to fire. And blocks can be destroyed by using specific weapons. R. My. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Yep. Trigger is not bumper. No, it's Room not. Indestructible blocks are hidden if you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Strike some blocks with missiles may reveal how to destroy them. So, that's a mystery block. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you're not done yet. No? No. You can't blow that block up, but, uh, you know, there's two other blocks. Oh, is there? Right, right, right. Oh, there's a melee. Yeah, you'll get a tutorial cool. on that in a minute. There you go. Take take that as a lesson right there, right there, that we just did. Don't give up that easily when you're, yeah. you think you're a dead end. And then miss shooting a missile will, yep, let you know if the block can be destroyed. Okay, so missiles can check things. Missiles let you check if a block is destructible. Uh, it used to be the sole, uh, like, realm of, of morph ball bombs. Right. But okay, I so think missiles is a better choice. Do we know who this guy is previous, like, previous to this game? Oh, the guy in the cutscene? Yeah. You have no idea who that is. No, nope, no clue. Samus probably knows who that guy is, considering that she's like straight up fought him immediately. Uh, I think that's just Samus. Don't worry, you'll get there. Yep. All right. Uploading data. You've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chosen. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZBR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas. Shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your metro DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. 
All right, so this is a network station we're in. That's good. Correct. Save and game. Also, it gives you a save. So network stations are also save points. Nice. As noted by. So yeah, open the map. So you can see. The uh, this is when we start to get how good this map is. I've talked about this before. Yeah. So that door is a. Huh? That means. Oh, okay. So if you go back into the map, that door is a question mark. That means you do not have the means to open it. Okay. That means do not try. You can't. Right. Power beam door means your basic shot will open it. Right. Because that's your power beam. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the yellow background, save room. Save room. Right. Does it always have this yellow box or is that just where I'm in or no. I am? All all rooms that let you save have a yellow have yellow background. Sorry, I'm in border, like this little border thing right here. Oh, I don't know why that's yellow. It might always be yellow. It might just be <laughs> where I am. So if I like leave and then I go into this area and then look at my map. Yeah, so it's, it's the zone I'm in. It's where the screen shifts, I think, or whatever. Uh, well, so that, so the, the actual box, I thought you were asking about the color. The actual box is essentially scanning for, it's, it's the, it's the size of your minimap. Is what it is. You can see the minimap on the top right. Right. That's what the box is. Okay. Shoot. Yep. Okay. So, if you see that flash and hear that noise, push X. Right. Oh. Timing can be a bit tricky. There you go, and then shoot. Oh, right, right. You'll you'll auto aim at it. So right, yeah. That. I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. And there we go. All right. <laughs> That counter was added in. Has only been in one other game, so it, it's very nice that it that it made its way back. Although the, I think that was by the same developer. So, but. come on. Right. Hey, you you might have moved in between. Yeah. Although maybe I did early or something. No, no. I think if you touch the stick at all, it'll take you out of the instant instant auto aim. Yeah, so Okay. I was wondering if I had like found like a little side area because there was a door there, but then this was like hidden off in the corner. No, I just Don't worry. Just if you're ever if you're ever wondering about stuff, yeah, just it's like map. Hey look, I can't go there yet. Cool. All right, so this is going to be another tutorial, I think. Yep. Okay. If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that an item is hidden there. Okay. Hidden, hidden item. So hidden if, item. If, yeah. if, your, if your map is if flashing white anywhere, hidden item. Hey, look. Missile tank acquired. Capacity increased by two. Nice. Whoops. Power beam door, power beam door. We go back that way, so. This way. Yep. Oh. Well, it's an Emmy. Sure is. Oh, it was an Emmy. Oh no, it still is. Is it gonna try to sample me? Yep.
This is some weird brain thing over here. Sure is. Did I get some of my power back? Yeah. Not course. quite. No? The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon. Omega Blaster online. Let's say, uh, hold L. And tilt. R. Charge. And then wide fire. Okay. Now I can fight these. Um, or at least this one. Reverting. Okay. I can no longer fight these. Correct. All right. So that weird animation. Yeah, the door animation. The door is now stuck open. Ah. See. Oops. That's. I keep hitting that instead of this. Some games use the minus as the map button. Yeah, it's true. Save the progress, yeah. Let's go ahead and save that. <laughs> so I'm getting used to the movement. Yeah, don't worry, they give you plenty of time to get used to it before you fight a boss. Mm. Interesting. Okay, I didn't think I could reach that for some reason. Well, it's okay. Oh, there you go. Rem rem remember, you're never. If you're if you are legitimately somehow stuck, I will tell you. Yeah. I I, I figured. Okay. Hmm. I don't currently know what to do with that blue substance. And it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the slick gel from <laughs> other games that might have had. No, it is not. That would have been fun. Come on, Samus. Konami, we can't fight that yet. So you you did see the flash. Yes, I did miss it. That is... It's okay. It's very hard. Anyway, checkpointed to right before the cutscene. So not so bad. You can skip it if you want. Yeah. Ah, come on. There we go. Oh, wait. Okay. 
All right. I don't have to go this way. I think there's another way for me to go. I'll explore a bit more instead of uh, grind my face into the enemy. Sure. I mean, there's this door here. All right. No, I can't actually go that way. Darn. No, you're going the right way. Am I? Yes, you were going the right way. Okay. There's uh, literally no other way for you to go. Okay. If I'm... You, 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 were, you were very close to being done with this section. Now, pay attention to the background. Yeah, that's the first boss, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's rude. <laughs> That's rude. Uploading data. Both enemy you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all enemy will be hostile. Emmy, send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy's own exits. You will be trapped inside. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the enemy and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. So that's what happened there. Yep. An enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Interesting. All right. Yep. So that's where the dread right. com comes in. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you can't. The dread comes in. You actually can't fight them. Good luck. Yeah. I guess this little boundary here is the enemy zone. Is the enemy zone? Yep. Okay. That means there's something here that doesn't actually. Yeah, what's up? With it's that? not in the zone. It's probably safe, 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 uh, safe room. Uh. I maybe. assume it's a safe room. Or it's not a room at all. I mean, or it's not a room, but yeah, it's possible. Anyway, point is, so if you would move your cursor to the the door that you just came in from. Uh, no, down, down, down to the left, outside that blue area, right there. See that? Emmy zone door, that thing that you door. came through. That one. Yeah. So all of the the doors look like that. Look that. You're about to go into an Emmy zone. They have that that weird like blue, like square paneling that's floating through the door. Yeah. So that's that's when you know you're about to enter a zone. They also have zone. that weird like decal on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, all the exits uh, are marked. There it is. All of them are marked. Okay. All of them are marked. Or, even even these ones. Gotcha. All got, of the exits. Gotta know There's where you're. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, six. Gotta know where you're going, I guess. Then, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Okay. I'm liking the atmosphere of this game. Yeah, it's good. It's it good. good. All right. I think that's it. The first look is uh, promising. I. Uh, this is gonna be a good game to play. Yeah. 
I'm not the best at platformers, and I, I guess I just gotta get used to controls more, and then it will be yeah, a little bit better. You'll get, you'll get used to it. It's a little. It was a little weird even for me. Right. Like I, yeah, I was missing jumps like you did. Um, but you know, then I then I got used to it, and it's fine. It's good even. Uh, yeah, I mean, you'll get, more, you'll get you'll get more movement options as well. I can tell it's good. Everything's so fluid. Yeah. Look at how look at how crazy the animations are when you're just doing that. Yeah, like look at that. Not even that. I mean, just do do the slow spin and just look how same as the stance changes. They put a lot of work into it. Oh yeah, that's good. It's crazy. Nice. I can't do the the special bullet thing because I think I don't have the power up for that yet. You mean the the big the big cannon? Yeah, the big cannon. Yeah, yeah. So, you lost that. I assume that those are very You're... rare, and you basically have to like. Well, open your map again. Do you remember what the thing was called that you touched? It was, what it was this one, right? Yeah, central unit. Central now, unit. Now, if so you would, one here. There's, and there's so your next one. You use this to kill this Emmy. You you can use that to kill the Emmy. Okay. You just have to get to it. Yeah, and I can't go through there yet. Assuming that's even the door that's directly connected. Yeah, also, assuming uh, there's not this... There's also an Emmy zone door right there. This can go straight so, across, yeah. It might. It might. It might wrap around and you come up under. Yeah, yeah, you might, because you, you literally can't see it yet. Yep, that's All cool. Right. I mean, you don't have to save again, but... Look, I get in the habit of saving <laughs> it's now. It's fine. Okay. I just want to be in the middle of the room, and if it means I have to save again, I gotta save again, okay? Sure. 